Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we will be flipping through my finished pages for December. I did quite a lot. This is only the first pile. I have the other piles in the, um, other places in, my, in the room but they're near me. So the first book that we are going to be flipping through is Grazia Salvo's coloring calendar. I only did one page but it was the last page in the calendar. So I managed to do a flip through of the whole finished calendar. And this was the page that I did. I did this with Tombow Irritants, I think, and Prismas, and maybe Polychromos. But I did a finished flip through of this, so you guys can see how nice this came out. I loved the colors that I chose for December, so I was really happy with this picture. So I did do a finished flip through of it, so if you guys are interested in that, that'll be up shortly or later this week because I filmed the, the finished flip throughs before I, I filmed this video. Now the next book is another book that I filmed a finished flip through of, but I still have to show you the pages I did for this month. This is Holiday Bliss by Jennifer Stay. So I did quite a few pictures in this book. I did this one, which is really nice because it has all this glitter on it. So I want you guys to show you the glitter on it because you guys don't really get to see how much glitter is on this thing. And I did this with the Pentel Sparkle Pops and some markers so you guys can get to see just how much gel pen was on this. So that was the one with the gel pens. Then the next one I did was the Christmas tree. That's an old one. Then I did this one, Dashing Through the Snow. I don't know why that keeps on. Every time, sometimes they just keep going through. And then I did this one, the New Year's one. And then I did this one with markers, Cali Arts. Then I did this one with Cali Art and Pentel Sparkle Pops. So you guys can get to see it. And I think that's it for this book. So that was what I did in that book. And then I finished one yesterday from the A Colorful World of Steampunk. This is the new color it book, and I did this one with markers, gel pens. So I did a lot of things with this book, this picture. I love this picture. I think this came out awesome. The next one is from the Best of Hannah Lynn Coloring Book, Volume 1. So this book is spiral bound. I think we did this on camera, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I might have done this off camera. I might have done it on camera. I'm not sure if I did it on or off camera because I do a lot of pictures, but I use markers and gel pens for this one. I loved it. The pictures in this are fun to do. Then from A Colorful Christmas, I did this one. I only managed to do one in this pick in this book, but I still liked it. I think it came out really, really nice. I like the sled and the picture. But I could have sworn I did another one in this book. But maybe I'm wrong. You know, you do so many pictures that you sometimes forget how many you actually do. Then from Michael Jelena Coloring Book Collection 2, I did this one. I used Marcus. I liked her a lot more than I thought, and the name of the girl is Venus Moon Line Art. I did that one. Then in the calendar from Color in Heaven, I did this Micah Jelena one. Speaking of Micah Jelena, I love this one. I used um, Prismas, Polly's, Tombow Irritants for this one. And Pablo's. I love my using my Pablo's, my Prismas, and my Irritants together, along with my Polychromos. So 
That was the one that I did this month in the calendar for 2020. That was then that one. Hello everybody. Um, I had a little accident, but I'm back now. So here is the magic. This is the this book is the Magic of a Christmas Warmer Coloring Book. I got it out for the season. I don't normally take this book out, but since it was Christmas, I did finish this picture. And this was done with gel pens and a some Prismacolor pencils, as you can tell. I did this with gel pens. Fortunately, I had a little accident. Something spilled. So sometimes when you work with gel pens, these things get messy. I did this with the Pentel Sparkle Pop Prismacolors and Tamnit gel pen, so that's what I did that one on. The next one I did is Christmas Fantasy Christmas Fantasy Fashions Coloring Book. Now I've had this book for a while. Um, I don't get to color in it too often, so when I do get to color in it, it's always a treat. Um, but I've never finished a picture in this book, so this is the first picture that I finished in it. Um, I used. Did I use marker in this? Yes, I did. I used marker in it because it went right through the page. So this is um, the first page I've finished in this book. So it counts for Color Your Horde, which was a year-long event that you f take a page, you finish a page from your coloring books that you don't color in. And the idea is to color more in the books that we have rather than the books that we don't have. So this is the book that I colored in. The next one I used pencils but and gel pens, but this is another Christmas coloring book. It's called Nutcracker Coloring Book. Um, it is a Macmillan book. It is a classic coloring book. It's very much in the same format as my Alice in Wonderland coloring book. So, and what happens with these books is that they tend to bleed through everything for whatever reason. I started this picture last year and I never finished this. And I used some gel pen, but it all goes right through the page for whatever reason. And then I started on this page. And I did this page as well, but I never, I didn't finish it, so that's a whip. I don't think I'm going to do that until the next year, so this book will be going away. <laughs> then I have the Color in Heaven Christmas Special. I think, I believe that we did this live. Yes, we did do this one live. I did this live on the channel, so we colored this one with markers. I love the Color in Heaven magazines. They're a lot of fun to color. Then I did the Jade Summer Christmas Coloring Book Volume 2. Now this has a lot of different pictures in it for Christmas, so I did two pictures. This one I did on live stream. I love this picture. We did this with markers and gel pens. Then the next one I did was all in marker, and this one was Santa, of course. So I like doing this one. My next picture is Hannah Lynn. Whimsy Girls at Work coloring book. This is her new one. So I did this one Which is the more simpler one because the one before this has more detail She has one that has a lot of detail and then she has one that has less detail. So I did this one with markers The next one I did is from a Whimsy Girls Christmas and I did this one with markers I did this one with my Les Mouchos, my Cali Arts, and my Copics. So I really like how this one, I actually started doing this in pencil and then I finished doing it in marker. The next one, I did three pictures from Crown Fantasy Queens by Deborah Mueller. Now some of you know I love these Deborah Mueller books, they're a lot of fun to color in. So I did this one in marker and gel pen. Then I did this one in marker. I also did this one in marker. So I like that one. The next one I did is Fairy Portrait Color Color Fairy Portraits Coloring Book by Samantha J. Lewis. Now she has a few, I think two or three other books besides this one. I could be wrong, but this is the book I own by her. So I did this one in marker. Each girl has a name. I did this one. I 
I did this one. I did this one. So those are the four I did in that one. The next one, and I just got this book and we did this picture live. So I did this one. This is um, the newest color in heaven, dark fantasy. I even did a flip through of this one live on my channel. So we did this one. Live and I like this one. We did this with Copic markers and some colored pencils. So I really enjoyed doing this picture. It was a lot of fun to do this one because I don't do a whole lot of Venice Guerreros. And I like that they gave her a whole special because I don't really own that many pictures from her. And I really like the fact that now I have a book that's all Ennis Guerrero. The next two books I did in pencil. The next two pictures. The next one comes from Fairy Celebrations by Clara McCulver. I did this one in Derwent Pro Colors and, and Prismas. We did this one live on my channel. I really enjoyed doing this one live. I thought it was one of my favorite ones to do on the channel live and we used my new Derwent Pro Color as pencils with this one and my Prismas to do this one. I, I really enjoyed doing this one. The next one comes from Slavic Beauties. I try to do a picture every month from this book because I like the pictures and I don't want to wait like I spent a lot of money. So I did this one at the beginning of the month. I wanted to do very subdued tones so um, the dress and the hair was done with Tombow Irritants and everything else was done with Prismas and Polly. So that's what I did with that one. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we will be flipping through Fantastic Beauties Adult Coloring Book by Demita Victoria. Now this is a grayscale book. This was the newest book. I did a picture of this on live stream. I also flipped through this on a live stream recently. So um, I did a couple of pictures in this book already and this is a grayscale book. So I love this book. This was one that I did with markers. So I do... I'm doing all the pictures in markers basically with a little bit of pencil work. I like this one. It has a little bit of glitter. You guys can't really see the glitter unless you go up close with the glitter. I'm working on this one right now. Then this is the one we did live. We use Copics, Blix, gel pens, Cali Art. So we used a couple of different pens and we used gel pens. So so you guys can see how nice this one came out with the gel. I did that one. Then we did another grayscale one. I did this one with Le Show, Dick Blix, and Cali Arts. So I didn't do, uh, this is from the Selena Fennec book called Gothic. Then from Gothic Mermaids, by Deborah Mueller. I did this one. I like this one. This one was done with markers. I just thought it was a fun one to do. You know, I don't do a whole lot of Deborah Mueller picks. Sometimes I do a lot. But you know, I didn't used to do a lot of her books because I didn't have a lot of her books. So now I do have a, quite a few. This one comes from the Color in Heaven Gothic Fairies coloring book special. So I did this one. I really like this one. Then we also did this one during a live stream. This one is Sheila Wolk's Grayscale Angel Fantasy Adult Coloring Book. I did this on a live stream, but this was a, a book that was gifted to me. So, I love this. Then I got this one, 50 Beautiful Mermaids by Camellia Ka. Camellia Angelkova. I did this one. Did this one with markers. Thought this one was really cute. I like a lot of the pictures in here because they're cute, they're fun, and they're easy to do. Then the next one I did was Kawaii Winter and Christmas Adult Coloring Book. Now this is a winter one, and it and I did this one with markers. <laughs> A lot of people said they liked the stained glass feel of it. I just did what came naturally to me, so I didn't even realize it had a stained glass effect to it. So, 
Then I finally did some pictures in this one, which is Magical Beauties by Christina McAllister. I did two pictures in this one. This one I believe I did, no, this wasn't Color Your Horde. I think this one was for Color Your Horde, possibly, or the other one. So I did this one, then I also did this one with markers and I just like the way these pictures came out. Then I did a Gothic Christmas by Deborah Muller. Yes, this is a Christmas coloring book. So I did this one. I just like these little girls that she has. They look, they're creepy, but they're Christmassy. Then I did this one with different pinks and purples. I just thought it would be fun to do them like that. Then this one comes from Christmas Mandela's which is another Christmas book, but I did this one live. We did this one live on my channel, so we used gel pens, markers on this one, so. Now, I don't, I don't know if I did this one live or not. I might have done this one off camera. It might have been the other one in this book that I did. Then I did this one, Muse Coloring Book. This is by Madison Tees. I think I did two pictures from this one. I did this one. And then I did this one. I did this all in markers. Then I got Fairies 3 this month. And I bought it, so I did this one. I used markers for this one. I thought this one was really pretty. I like Christine's artwork a lot. So, I like Christine's work because it's pretty, it's nice. Then I did this one, mermaid hair. I like this one, it came out really pretty. Then the next one is Summer Wind by Nadia Vaslakova. I did this one with markers. I did this, I did this, I did this skin and hair with Le Show markers and then everything else I used probably Cali Art. Then from Winter Dreamlands I did this picture, but this it was done in marker, so I did use some gel pen. You guys probably can't see the gel pen, but it's there, so I did that one with markers and gel pens. Then I did Mermaid's Grayscale Coloring Book. Now, I love Jade Summer, and everybody knows how much I love this book. I did this one this month. I loved this one. I actually had stopped doing this one last month because I ran out of my Copic marker. And so then I finished it with the rat. When I got the refill, I finished it. So I was very happy with that one. Then I did Adorned Fairy Hair 2 by Deborah Mueller. And I did this one which I love doing this one and then I did this one crazily enough I thought this one was just fun to do and it's just whimsical in its own weird way then I did this one S -s -s color my sketchbooks dragons I did the baby dragon in grayscale as some of you can tell I used the gel pen to get all this in and then I used markers for the dragon and the tree, but the, this little red part here I did with gel pen. So I used purple flowers. I was trying to do something a little bit different, trying to mix colors. It came out pretty good, I think. Then Kim T bought me this book for Christmas Mandela's for Relaxation and Meditation. I ended up doing this picture, which I think came out really nice. I like this picture a lot.
And then I did this one, Sakum's Natural Enchantment Coloring Book for 2018. Now, I did three pictures in this. I did this one with Copic markers. I love using Copics. Then the next one I did was this one. I like doing her girls. Her girls are really pretty and fun to do. And then I did this one. I just wanted to try doing a redhead. See how redhead would work. It came out really nice. The paper's really good in this book, so. Then the next one that I got was the 100... The Big Fantasy Coloring Book in Grayscale, 100 Illustrations. This is a new one. Some of you saw a flip of this one. I've done two of these already. I did this one, which I love this one. And then I did this one as well. I thought this one really was nice. I wanted to try something different. And I love Molly Harrison's Grayscale. I do not know why this one does not have a sticky on it. Oh yes, it does have a sticky, it just got lost. I did this one from the Color in Heaven an Annual 2019 magazine. I did this one. I didn't know why it was there because the sticky wasn't sticking out. I used markers to do this one. This is a picture I've done before in the other books by Selena Fennec. So this is a Selena Fennec, but there's different artists in this one. So. I did this one with markers. I just wanted to see how it would look if I tried to, to do it in a different way. Then I did 101 Unique Mandalas by Camellia Anjakova. So I did one in this book. This one I did with markers. So that's the picture I did there. And the final color in that, the final two pics that I did for this month was Chibi Girls Jade Summer. I did this one, which I liked very much how this one came out. And then I did this one as well. So those are the ones that I did. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Happy coloring.